Hey guys, this is Tina Monk, the author of the Soap Making Handbook Volume 1 and the creator of the eCourse Masterclass Advanced Soap Formulations. They are available at my website, naturalsudsandmore.com. Um, today's video is just going to be a short video. I just wanted to go over how to calibrate your KD7000 scale. Uh, even if you don't have this particular scale, you may um, be able to find a manual online. Um, for yours specifically, it's just this is so important in soap making to make sure that you know everything is weighed correctly. Sometimes when you're making soap, um, you think you've done everything right, and then it doesn't come out the way that you expected. It maybe it came out lie heavy, or maybe it came out too soft. Um, you know something just didn't work right, and sometimes you don't think about it, but then if you um, put this at the forefront of your mind and you can come back and then check your scale for accuracy and calibrate it. It's just soap making is so dependent on everything being weighed correctly and having your scale be accurate. It's, it's you know it's just the foundation your scale has to be accurate and you have to have a good scale. Okay so I just want to go over this real quick for you. It's really easy. Um, this right here the KD7000 manual um, requires a five kilogram weight um, to calibrate it and I found this on Amazon um, I think it was about forty dollars a little bit pricey but um, so worth it to make sure that all of your soaps um, come out the way that they're supposed to okay um, so the KD7000 manual states that you hold the power button and the mode button while it's off and then you push those at the same time until it says kale, C-A-L-E, okay? Just press them down at the same time and hold them. Okay, and then it's going to say C-A-L-E. Press, okay, and you're going to put the weight on top. And then you're going to hit tear. Okay, so this said pass, so it is a correct calibration. To finish it off, you need to turn the scale back off, and then turn it back on, and then you're just going to make sure that it um, is correct again. And if it doesn't work, you're going to have to redo um, it to make sure that it comes up. There we go, my scale was off the back a little bit. Okay, so this is now calibrated with five kilogram weight. Um, you know, and if you do not have a calibration weight, I highly recommend that you get one just to make sure that your um, scale is accurate. Very, very important. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.